I'm Sean Berry, I'm a Green Councillor and London Assembly member and I'm asking for your first choice vote to stand for the London Assembly again in the 2020 election. We need more Greens in City Hall and with the right team of candidates we can do better than ever before this time. I have stuck to my promises to Londoners since 2016, working hard to bring in policies from our manifesto from the current Mayor. On the Assembly, I've worked in an effective team with Caroline Russell to get the Mayor to change his mind and his policies. On ballots for estate residents, on funding for youth services, to support a people's vote on Brexit, to drive out dodgy definitions of affordable housing and declare a climate emergency. We've brought the voices of forgotten Londoners into City Hall and pushed the Mayor hard when he's failed on cycling funding and delivery or gone slow on rent controls. This up with you first. Um, in 2015, when we were both not even selected to stand for the jobs that we have, I, I pressed you when you were an MP yeah. to help mm -hmm. amend the Cities and Devolution Bill. And I'll just, I will just keep going on at you well, about sure, this. And I want you to do the sure. same with the government. After Grenfell, the housing committee that I chair listened to social housing residents and put forward principles for how to give them a real voice in how their homes are run. On the police committee, I focused on civil liberties, standing up against discrimination in the use of tasers, facial recognition technology and stop and search. ...that you can barely see uh, and people are walking through and being scanned as they walk through. So I think we're trying to generate, like you, more of a public conversation about this new form of surveillance. There's not enough information there, what data they're collecting, what they're going to do with it on that poster. My proudest moment so far was when I realised this year that the Mayor was going to do something to put money back into youth services. I've been exposing huge cuts around London, but he refused last year to do the same and put money in when we put it forwards in a budget amendment. But now the new £45 million Young Londoners Fund is already starting to be spent on supporting young people across our city, making a real difference. Another thing that wouldn't have happened without Greens and City Hall is the new policy to give binding ballots to residents on estates facing demolition. The Mayor was firmly against this, but a big campaign working with residents and grassroots groups caused him to listen, change his mind and bring in a new policy. Which shouldn't be dealt with uh, by a yes or no uh, decision. Uh, of course, people like the Greens have seized an opportunity here. Sean Berry, the leader of the Greens on the London Assembly, says, well, of course the Mayor should come into line. We're making our mark and we can do much more with more Greens in City Hall. Please vote for me, number one for the Assembly again. If you choose me, I'll work harder than ever to get more of our green policies in action, helping Londoners in our best green campaign yet.